everyone. We know City Line viewers love Chatelaine Magazine, and of course, Chatelaine Magazine readers love City Line. So throw them together. What do you got? A show that starts with Claire Tansy. Come on in here. Good. It's September, and like we're having a great, hug. We're having a, a close cool snuggle. Here. Okay, yeah. We've had a great summer yes. um, in terms of getting the fresh produce from the markets, but it's still all out there. Well, this is the thing. Just because you've gone back to school mm -hmm. does not mean that the markets are not still full of everything. In fact, it only gets better for the next about six weeks. Right. Because now the apples are coming, and the pears, yes. and all the squashes and gourds, and yet the peaches are still giving her, and you'll still find some ever-bearing <laughs> strawberries. I just said giving her. Giving her. Yeah. Oh, they are. They are. Um, but this is the time, it's all coming in. So we decided to do a couple of, well actually a series of vegetarian main courses. Lovely. That use, the, like you go to the farmer's market, bring a big bag this time, because mm -hmm. you are gonna get one of everything at least. Well so many viewers are always asking us about Meatless Mondays, or trying to sure. incorporate some kind yeah. of vegetarianism into their family meals. This is a great way to do it. Cauliflower is off the chain these days. Do the oh kids still say off the chain? Should I take that I'm back? I'm not a kid. Off the hook, off, off the, the chain. Uh, just how about cancel awesome? it all. It's still awesome. awesome. But awesome. first, we're going to start with sweet potato nudie. Yes. Now, sweet potatoes. Explain. They've always just been, you know, a little baked thing that you have at Thanksgiving, or then they had a kind of a renaissance as a fry. Yeah. The sweet potato fry still They're going. Good. Uh, this is nudie. So nudie are like dumplings, but without the. Or like ravioli without the pasta. Yeah. So nudie means naked. Oh. So, I mean, that's what I referred to my son when he runs around with his, when he's taking his bathing suit off. He's, he's a little nudie. So yeah. it's kind of an extra, it's a romance meal. It looks good. <laughs> but this is a way looks to hot. make a sweet potato into an entree okay. without having to bake it and put sour cream on top. I get so, it. So nudie are amazing, very hot, very trendy, and they are just a, basically a mixture of potato, which is this uh, cooked and mashed sweet potato. Yeah. Did you know you can do it in the microwave? I did know that. Oh. I am always looking for cheats and shortcuts. I so think of something else I know I can okay, use in the microwave. This? Do we have to put a little bit of regular potato in here? And we had a huge discovery when we were developing this recipe in the Chatelaine kitchen. What did you discover? Instant potato flakes. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay, that I did not know. I, we did not expect it, and we were like, oh, this is going to be so bad. And yeah. in fact, there's something molecular, gastronomy, scientific, chemistry, instant yeah. potato flakes. Okay. Get the unseasoned ones. Go for you don't it. want, like, the sun dried tomato. That's not right. going to be good. <laughs> so give that a little stir, please. Yeah. So to make nudie it's sort of like making a dumpling it's kind of like I don't know it's just like a wet pancake batter yeah give me a couple of egg yolks there nice this is some ginger just to you know season it up Find and then it I'm just together. gonna add enough flour to kind of make it into a nice dough and good great then it looks like this okay and you shove it into a plastic bag yeah or a piping bag no don't even have to do that not even that it's dinner time man and I'm hungry so I'm just good. gonna <laughs> snip this off like I'm cutting a bag of milk yeah I'm just gonna snip that off and I have a little bowl uh, that's actually quite large uh, pot of boiling water and now I'm going to make nudie. Okay, so this is where the art comes into it, right? Because you have <laughs> to sort right, of get them like in little pieces to get into that, you know, boiling water. Yeah, and you know, the thing is... that a big plop coming back in your eye. The great thing about nudie, which is different from, say, ravioli, is they're supposed to look, um, what's the trendy word Artisanal. Now? A handmade. Um, yeah. Yeah, handmade. Rustic. So this is simmering, In imagine in life it's simmering, and you give it a little squeeze. Yeah. And then you take your trusty knife, I know oh. it looks really classy, and you just sort of encourage it to plop into the water. Plop. Not plop. bad there, Claire. And they're plop. supposed to all look different like that. So they're supposed to look handmade. Yeah. So some of them are big, some of them are small, and yeah. you know, you just sort of do like this if you have it. I mean it's gonna be listen, it's gonna that be one delicious. Looks interesting. If all else fails, dim the lights, my friends. So that <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's all going to the same place. Oh, same place. It's all good. Look at, they all look really different. They look good. That to one's me. really big. That I one has a big one. They're so yummy. So I'm just going to uh, melt some butter. Okay. And these are a beautiful wild mushroom called chanterelles. Ooh. You can get them dry and rehydrate them. Yeah. Or you can sometimes find them fresh because this is also a great season for mushrooms. Okay. So those are going to go in the melted butter, a little bit of liquid, a little bit of sage. And then these puppies go in there and they all saute together. It's so Good. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. So farmer's market's still open until what? Late October? Oh, at least. And some go at through least. the winter. Yeah. And that's when you'll see all the what the vegetables that we call overwinter. Yeah. So those are vegetables that you can actually keep nice. through the winter. So those that's when, you know, when January comes and we're really into the parsnips and the potatoes. 
well, that'll be a different show. Right. Right now, you <laughs> sure want to use all of these beautiful things. So this is a wonderful entree. Have a little green salad on the side. Oh, nice. Oh, I, I just, I feel like I'm at a restaurant and I'm going to have a hard time not eating that, but I will I thought after. you were going to go for it. There it is right there, cityline.ca for the recipe. Now let's get to the very popular cauliflower that everybody's into right now. Cauliflower can do no wrong. Yeah. It is I like everywhere. It. Oh, I like it too. Yeah, you I can mash it. it, you can boil it, you can roast it, you yes. can... Yes. Whatever. So whole roasted cauliflower became mm -hmm. this darling of the restaurant menus a couple of years ago. And I don't know why, but why not? Why not? So you take your it's entire cauliflower, remember our friend? Yeah. And you'll find these for maybe 99 cents each, a dollar each at the Super farmer's cheap. market. And I'm just going to kind of cut out the core and the middle stem. Okay. Which, again, it's going to look handmade, my friends. <laughs> just kind of cut, cut, cut. Use a little bit of elbow Rip grease. That off. What you're trying? Oh my gosh. Oh dear. I That's okay. It. I broke it. Whatever. I was going to say, all you're trying to do, Claire, is keep it in one piece. That was basically a Tracy Moore move right yeah, there. Yeah, but you know what? Everything's going to be fine. We're going to rebuild. Fine. Does there it go, go like that? Let's put it together. <laughs> No problem. Here. Okay, <laughs> who's got the uh, culinary duct tape? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna just anyway. This guy's gonna this nice little mixture here, and then this guy's gonna go in. Is that just tomatoes? It was there, just Claire? diced tomatoes diced and tomatoes. some red peppers and onions. Oh, nice. Goes in the oven for about 45. Okay. Then when he comes out, I'm going to uh, give him a lovely little facial Ooh, nice. with mayonnaise and parmesan and Dijon. I love that on my face. Oh, it's That's really so tasty. Good. It really makes a delicious mm. face. Then it looks so like this. Then you puree the sauce and you serve them together. Mm. I know. Did you hear? The crowd what went like, oh right? my God. That's good. So do you, you do you cut it off into like slices of cauliflower pie almost? That would serve, I would say, three to four. Okay. Yeah. All I mean, right. if you want to serve that with a side of roast pork, fine. Mm. If you want to serve it with some nice bread, a green salad, a little bit of cheese. Keep it veggie. Keep it veggie. Oh, I love mm -hmm. that. And I love the fact that you can pair. Chatelaine has been doing wine pairings, hasn't, haven't you? We certainly have. We um, love our wine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So do I. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Chateau St. Jean, Sonoma County Chardonnay is a 2015 Chatelaine Institute approved product winner. Today's audience will take home a gift card for a bottle of Chateau St. Jean. <laughs> <laughs> On one occasion, pair those wines.